We have had many Singaporean sagas in recent years, some on YouTube and some in politics, but do you know about the big saga of the neighbourhood parks? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. Hey, hello everyone. So, I don't know what exactly you were expecting, but this here is the saga tree. Although this may look like any old, tall, regular tree, you'll definitely be able to recognise it from all these red seeds that they drop on the ground. And these are called saga seeds or love seeds because of its heart shape. Okay, and I hope there isn't a big generational split between us because I remember when I was in primary school, uh, I would go out with my mom or even with my friends to come to the park and find all these saga seeds and we even made a game out of it. So we would like see who can find the most seeds in 5 minutes. And there's even a nice uncle that would join my mom and my siblings and I to help us collect these seeds. And even in my mother's time as a kid, she said that she would use to collect all of these seeds to make the traditional five stones. And she would also play this finger game that I have never played before, so I asked her to teach us how to play. Okay, like, so, if example, these two seeds too near, you cannot, you cannot go your finger across it, right? So you will just cross like this, and you hit. You cannot touch other seed also. So if this seed together you must take, you that one cannot shake also. So you take one seed. So two seed like that, you cross, you hit. Then you take. Like that lah. Then wait, 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 wait. Then, then, wait, then when is it my turn? Then when is it my turn? I hit or I cannot, cannot, then will be your turn lah. If I cannot. Let's say example. Okay, you, so you show me. Let's fit. say example now. I like that. I hit. I can. I didn't touch. Example. I didn't touch. So means now it's your turn already, lah. Ah, yeah, boy. Your turn. Okay, this two. Wow, you see. Yeah, no, I hit the other side. Hit everything. Ah, you must show me winning. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. Put that. Ah, that. Ah, then I take two. Ah, then I win. Ah. Okay, count, count, see how many seats you have. Count, count how many seats you have. Three. You count lah, you slowly count. You slowly count. Six. Nine. Ayo, this one your childhood game, then I win everything. <laughs> so this tree has been changing children's lives for decades and decades, but it doesn't end there. Because apparently, these seats were used as a tool to measure gold and silver in the olden days in uh, India and Sri Lanka because these seats are actually pretty uniformed in weight at about 1 gram for 4 seats. But yeah, this whole tree is actually a legume which means they are in the same family as your long beans and peas and all those stuff. And if you look at their unripe seed pots, you can kind of see the resemblance just that when it's ripe, it gets darker and drier and curlier. And seeing how the pots split open and then you see all the seeds spread all around the floor, you might think that the seeds are dispersed by bursting out. But when a plant has something so brightly coloured, they're actually trying to get animals to eat those parts. And it's even the same for flowers, right? They're so brightly coloured because they want pollinators to come and eat their pollen so that they can help pollinate the flower. And so for the saga seeds, they are actually eaten and then pooped out by birds, especially that of the parakeets. But you don't come and see birds eat, then you also go and take and eat. Because yes, although I said that they are related to your long beans and peas, these saga seeds are actually toxic to humans if eaten raw. Although they are apparently an ingredient in traditional medicine if cooked and prepared properly. But yeah, although you cannot eat them, uh, I just wanted to remind everyone of the good old days uh, and to remind everyone how fun trees and plants can be. And if you all want, you all can try to find some saga seeds and play all these games out for yourselves. Uh, although, you know, remember you shouldn't take anything out of the parks, so after you play, remember to bring them back to where you found them. And this marks the end of this episode, but before we go, I'd like to give a big shout out to Mr. Chew, Sportman's, Sky Baby, Ing Le, HR Queen, Ping Hu Master, Just Juice, Gel Block Tango, Amal Delo, Neko Sama, Crooked Spider, Lo Eli, Big Three Circles, Amy, and Nero and Angel. There are a lot of you who came on board just recently, so I'd like to give a big thank you to all of you for helping to support this channel directly on Patreon. And if you'd like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. If not, you can also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. 
Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle out there with lots of red seeds that you can play little finger games with and then if you lose then 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 you loser lah. I'm kidding, no one's a loser, you guys are all great. Okay, bye.